So check it, right? My boys called me up. They were like, yo, let's go like down to the park, you know, play some, play some football or like, let's go down to the, to the movie theater and check out that new action flick. And I was like, nah, nah, bro, nah. And then, you know, they were like, yo, bro, let's go down to this party. It's going to be killer. Nah, bro. Not for me, bro. I ain't going to no party. I ain't going to play no no ball. I ain't going out hiking in the wilderness. I ain't I ain't going to like, you know, do anything that is living out my passion. Like I gave up, you know, wanting to be a lion tamer because bro, I got, I got to stay in my living room all the time. And they were like, bro, you like, you don't live life at all. You, you don't do anything. And I was like, bro, you don't even know. Because once I get into union with my twin flame, I'm going to be living like all the lives, probably all, and then you're all going to be looking at me like, bro, where'd you get this lives from? Like it came out of nowhere and you were like, now all of a sudden you're like, you know, all over. You're like here, then you're over here, then you're over here now. Bro. You don't, you don't even know what's coming to me, you know? And they were like, bro, this, you like just sit there in your house. You don't do anything. You don't go anywhere. Like, what's up? And I was like, bro, you, I, I could explain it to you, but you wouldn't get it. It wouldn't get through there. You know, this this is what I what I's got to do to like make sure that I don't miss anything. Like, you know, I I go to the bathroom with the door open in case my twin flame knocks and I the I I'm able to hear it. And I always got my phone on me because like what if, what if she calls and like, you know, I'm off doing something, uh, and like I don't, I don't get the phone call or like I'm somewhere where I don't have that, the cell phone service, like I have to be at the in one place, all the time, with my phone in my hand and all my bases covered, just in case. You know, is this, is this experiencing life? Is this living life? This is not having a relationship with life. Having a relationship with God is having a relationship with life. You know, are you doing things that you're passionate about? Are you doing things that are giving you joy and making you happy? If not, if you're just like waiting around for your twin and you like literally, you know, you don't go anywhere. You don't, ex you don't experience anything. You're not, um, you're really not having any kind of a uh, relationship with anybody. Like you, you like, you know, just mind to yourself and you only focus on your journey. You only focus on what your twin flame is doing. You only focus on when you're going to get into union. Is that is that having a relationship with life? Is that is that allowing yourself to experience joy? Is that allowing yourself to experience being happy and doing things that you that you want to do and love and maybe experiencing things that like you never even realized that you might want to do. You never even uh, 
you know, took that chance to, to do something that, that you had an interest in. And so putting all of that focus on someone is saying and not doing anything with your life or, or just like going to work and coming home and, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait here until, until I get into union. Well, I mean, that sure does, does put like a gigantic weight on someone else to provide your happiness or you're going to wait, uh, wait to, to start your life when someone else comes into it in order to uh, start experiencing joy and start experiencing the things that you want to, that you want to do, you know? You have to experience these things. It's your life. You have to create all of these things that that make you happy, that 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 you want to do, that that brings you passion. That's what's going to magnetize your twin and you into union. You know, just waiting for them, waiting around uh, for them to snap out of it or whatever you think they might be snapping out of it's not that's not it you know like don't wait to start your life it starts now it's the present moment start living your life now start having that relationship with with life and start having that relationship with God and yourself have experiences. You know, do do things that interest you. See what you love. See what you don't. Follow the things that you love. That's going to magnetize. That's going to attract your twin. That's going to that's going to bring you closer and closer together. Right? Get out there. Do stuff. Have a relationship with people. You don't have to have a, uh, you know, sexual relationship with somebody, but you could, you could certainly make friends, and you could certainly experience things with other people that you may not have thought that you would get along with. You know, you may, may uh, form friendships and bonds with people that you really, you know, never would have uh, connected with before. Get out there, right? So when you're ready to take the next step and into getting coaching sessions along this journey, I offer a free 15-minute consultation for those of you that are that are ready for that step. Uh, visit asoneguidance.com and leave a comment down below and also subscribe. And that is it. I will all see you all next time. Take care.